All right, folks, we're back. I apologize for the uh, <laughs> I apologize for the technical difficulties. We had a few uh, something crashed on the computer, and we had to take a little break. I apologize for that. But we are in the second half of play, third quarter. Uh, the um, Knights had the kickoff, and uh, now they're at the 50-yard line. With uh, they just went for an incomplete, and it's now second and ten. All right, so folks, I apologize again for that. That uh, shockwave crashed or something like that. So it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're back. And uh, number 11 in the shotgun, there's a snap for the Knights and uh, incomplete. And the Knights are constantly under pressure. The Panthers' defense is like a pressure cooker, just waiting to explode. So as you heard at halftime, As you heard at halftime, Lenny Murdo is going to be the PA announcer from now on for the uh, Knights games, uh, Panthers games. So it is now third and ten from the 50 for the Knights. And number 11 back in the shotgun, one back with him, two receivers to the right, two to the left. All right, and there's a snap. It's a low snap. He holds on to it, and he's going for a pass. Where's he going? And he's taken down for a sack by number seven is in there. Number seven is uh, Andrew Lane. And David Reese was in there as well. So it is now fourth and looks like 13. Fourth and 12 and a half. 12 and a half. So it'll be fourth and about uh, twelve or twelve and a half from the f from their own fifty from their own forty eight, and they're gonna go for the punt. And it looks like who we got back there receiving number four, which is uh, Jamie Rocket Bryant. There's the snap and the very sky high punt, and it touches number forty four on the night, and it at the about the twenty four yard line. The Panthers will start to drive at their first drive of the second half at their own 24-yard line. All right, so folks, we did have a good run for the first half. Now we're back for the second half. I had to restart my browser. I apologize. Um, so you missed a couple of plays. There was a, some penalties in there, um, but really not much. <laughs> um, so now I just have to edit this all together at the end of the game. And then I'll throw it up for, for the rest for, the, for you folks. All right. So uh, let's see who we got. Uh, who's that? Snowden. Snowden is in the shotgun formation. Here's the snap and a handoff to can't tell. Handoff looks like Kevin Wolfolk, number 42. Yep, that's who it was. Brought it up to the, yeah, it was stopped at the 25, so a couple yard loss. So it looks like second and eight, or uh, second and 12, or second and 11. There we go, Snowden under, uh, in the shotgun formation. There's a snap. There's a pass and it's caught. Wow. Oh, they're calling it incomplete. That was caught by number 88. Uh, Vinny Mooley. And they're calling it incomplete. I, do, I did not see that hit the ground before it hit his hands. And they're calling it incomplete. So that was, uh, that was a bad call for the officials. Mooley had that catch. Would have been a first down, but anyways, it's called back. It's now third and 11. So, 
Uh, Snowden in the shotgun again. There's a snap. He's back under pressure. And he's scrambling. And it looks like he's going to be brought down for a sack at about the tw one, uh, 25. Or, yeah, so they only lost another yard. So it'll be fourth and about 12. And they're going to have, and Zemanski's in for the punt. So Zemanski's back to punt, and we have uh, two uh, ni two knights back for the re to receive. Looks like number seven, and there's a punt. Nice, beautiful punt. Calls for the fair catch, and that was number ten at the 40, 44 yard, 45 yard line of the pan of the knights. So they'll start the drive at their own 45. So we got the Knights uh, in first down. Number 11 is uh, back in shotgun formation. It's been the only formation they've played all game. All right, and there's a snap. And uh, there was a handoff, and it was stopped. Uh, and actually for a loss of one. So it will now be second and 11 from the 44. All right, so uh, this is part two now <laughs> of the sports of the Connecticut Panthers uh, against the uh, New England, uh, I'm sorry, Pioneer Valley Knights. And uh, all right, so uh, shotgun formation, single back. And there's a snap, number 11 is back. There's a pass completed to number 82, no, 88. Brought down by number two, John Manning, quarterback, a cornerback. All right, third and seven. From the fifth, from the forty nine. There's a snap. Number eleven is it? Yeah, he got tripped up, but uh, he made it through. And he crossed the fifty, brought it down to about the forty seven of the Panthers, and it'll now be fourth and two. So he couldn't get the first down, but he did get uh, within two yards. So it'll be fourth and two. And it looks like the uh, Knights are going to go for it here. So this is where the Panthers need to... Uh Step it up. <laughs> if you will. All right, there's a snap, 
And it is intercepted by number 45. And that's Gerald Patrick. Goes over the sideline. <laughs> and it's now going to be... And he made it to the 50. Went out of bounds at the 50. And to bring it back a little bit. So about the 47. So uh, it'll be first and 10 Panthers from their own 47. With a great... Uh, Interception from Gerald Patrick. All right. All right, that was. All right, pass was caught by So uh, Richard Snowden's pass was caught by trying to figure out a number. I don't know, but they're going to the no huddle. So Snowden in the shotgun position shotgun formation again. Single back. There's a snap in the pass, and it bounces off the leg of number 21 on the Knights. Was intended for Kyle Watkins, so it's now second and ten. There's a snap, Snowden under center. Or, oh, it's, it looked like it picked off. And it was, it was intercepted by the Knights. At about the two yard line. So uh, the Knights take over. From the from their own two, so they've got a long, uh, long way to go. Now it's time for the defense. So uh, let's see. Looks like again the shotgun formation number eleven of the Knights, deep in their own end zone, and this the pass is is completed, and the uh, Knight is caught is brought down at the uh, looks to be about yeah the twelve the twelve yard line eleven yard line, so it'll be second and one. All right, so we're going to be second and one for the Knights. Still no score for them, though. It's 15 nothing, Panthers. All right, number 11 in the shotgun, single back. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. There's a snap. Fake throw, and he passes it, and it's, it's completed. So it'll be first and 10 now from the 25, 26. All right, first and ten from the six, uh, from the six, from the, th uh, where are they lining up? From the 26. There's a snap, and it's a handoff, and he gets about a yard gain. Maybe two yards. 
So it'll be second and eight. Second and nine. All right, so same formation for the Knights. All right, there's a snap and a handoff. Uh, yeah, handoff. No, it was a fake handoff. And he was brought down for no gain. <laughs> there was a pass on the field by the Knights and no gain. All right, picked up about two. So it'll be third and six from the 30. Yes. All right, and they go for their huddle and they come out of their huddle. And the Panthers defense looks to be getting, getting tired. Oh. And it looks like flag on the play. It looks like offsides. But there's a pass intended. Up at the broken up. Intended for number 10. Broken up by. Uh, I couldn't tell you. Number 38 is. Uh, don't have it on my roster here. Number 32. And that was Andre Pollard. It was offsides against the Panthers. It'll be third and one. So the Panthers need to stop. All right. So the fans again behind them. And there's a handoff, and uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. It will be a first down. Ah! All right, so it's a first down now for the Knights. First and 10 from uh, the 38. 37? Yeah, from, the from their own 37, first and 10 for the Knights. All right. Pass is tipped. So it'll be second and 10. The next offensive drive has to be a long one to give these defensive guys a rest. got some followers on Twitter that favorited the uh, Panthers and the Knights game, so thank you very much for that. All right, so uh, the number 11 is in uh, full effect. He's back in shotgun. He holds the ball. He's running backwards. He's under tremendous pressure, and the ball's thrown out of bounds. So it'll be third and now 10. All right, so number 11 back in shotgun formation, third and 10 from the 30, from their own 38.
Yeah. All right, there's a snap, number 11. He's got, he's got it himself and he's holding on to it. And he's brought down at about the 42, 43 yard line. For, so it'll be fourth and uh, fourth and four. So a six yard run, he probably figured he can't depend on anybody else, he should do it himself. All right, we are here from Falcon Field, Meriden, Connecticut. It is now uh, 8.22 p.m. on the East Coast, if you're listening elsewhere. I want to thank you for joining me. I'm Big Daddy Cool Vinny Apicella from the Sportswire, bringing you the NEFL action of the reigning, defending, undisputed Colonial Conference champions, the Connecticut Panthers taking on the Pioneer Valley Knights. Panthers currently are 2-1. and one. The Knights are 1-1. One and one. And there's a shotgun by number 11. There's the snap. And it looked like he overthrew his receiver. And now the offense will come out on the field. Turnover on downs. It'll now be first and 10 for the Panthers from the Knights' 44-yard line. All right. The, the, the offense has to give the defense some time. And what is it? The end of the quarter? It looks as if the it looks as if it's the end of the third quarter. So at the end of the three, it's fifteen nothing Panthers. All right, Incom uh, pass is complete to number number one, Kareem Robinson from Richard from Richard Snowden. So it'll be second and four. Be so it'll be second and four from. Why is it? Why does it say third? No, it should be the second. Second and four from their own from the uh, thirty-nine. And there's a snap, back to pass, and it's incomplete. Pass in, uh, intended for number is that fifteen? No, it's not. Yeah, it is fifteen. 15 is Jason Davis. So it'll now be third and four from the 42. All right, and Snowden back, back to pass. And he airs it out, and it's broken up, intended for number one, uh, Kareem Robinson. So now it'll be fourth down, and they need to get these yards. They need to give the defense a bigger rest. So let's get behind our team. Tickets are just 10 bucks. 10 bucks for adults, kids under 12 free. All right. Uh, all right, so we've got the Knights are in a huddle. It's fourth and four. All right, so what do we got the referee coming out for? Oh, 
Oh, it looks like an injury timeout for the Knights. Number 23, who is their punter. That's not good. Walking off the field. Looks like he's limping a little bit. We hope that he uh, has a full recovery and that he's not seriously hurt. All right, so uh, Richard Snowden back in shotgun. They're going for it, fourth and four. He's back to pass. Snowden takes it himself. He crosses the 30, crosses the 25-yard line, and it's going to. He's get picked up the first down, and it's going to be first and ten Panthers from the Knights' 22-yard line. So now, because of the fourth quarter. The Knights, are, the Panthers are going from left to right, and the Knights are going from right to left. All right, so Snowden back in the shotgun. There's the snap. He's back to pass. Number one, John. Who's that? Number one, Kareem Robinson catches it. And he gets another first down. So that's uh, first and 10 from the 11. So it'll be first and 10 from the 11. And Snowden is in the shotgun. No backs with him, five wide receivers. There's the snap. There's a pass. It's caught. It is caught. Touchdown, Panthers. All right, and that was uh, Snowden to who? Who made that catch? I think it was number one, which would have been uh, Kareem Robinson. Kareem Robinson with the catch, 11 yard, 11 yard pass. So it is now 21 nothing after that touchdown. So they're going to go for two. And Snowden with the snap. He's taking it. Nope. He's passing it. It's, tough. it's caught. That's Vinny Mooley in the end zone with the catch. And it is now 23 to nothing. Twenty-three, nothing. 
And we are here in the fourth quarter, Falcons Field. Falcon Field here in Meriden, Connecticut. All right, so Szymanski back to kick. And there's a line drive kick. And it gets down about the 20, uh, the 15 yard line, picked up by the Knights. And they lost his, he lost his footing, he's brought down at about the 19 or 20 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Knights from their own 20. And uh, now let's get the defense out there. Kevin Wolfolk brought him down. All right, so let's uh, let's hold him. It, we're in the fourth quarter here. So it's first and ten for the Knights from their own twenty. So number 11, back in the same formation. And there's a snap. And uh, brought down. I don't know if that's considered a sack because I think he got a yard from it. All right, so and you know it's amazing how the night how the Panthers defense hasn't picked up that the Knights have run the same play every game of this every down of this game. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if they have anything else in their playbook, but it's the same thing: shotgun with a single running back, with uh, two wide receivers to the left and the right. There they are in the same formation again. Oh, that's a big offsides. Flag on the play, offsides against the Panthers. So it'll be, uh, no, it's against, well, wait a minute, hold on. It's against, it's against the Knights. False start against the Knights. So it'll be second and 15 from the 15. So they'll redo the second down. All right, so there's uh, second and 15. All right, uh, there's a snap, number 11. He's going for a pass. Uh, number 10 caught it and avoid one tackle, got and then got taken down at the 25 or 24 uh, 24 yard line. So it'll be third and six from the Knights' own 24 yard line. So we are, uh, there we go, we are set now. The, knight, the Knights are the same formation, number 11 back in shotgun. 
Waiting for the snap. There's a snap. Back to pass. And he skies it outward. It's first down. It's caught. Caught by number seven at the 38-yard line. So the Knights are are uh, um, the Knights are making a stand and they're marching up the field against this tired Panthers defense. All right, so uh, number 11 in shotgun formation again. And uh, now we're waiting for the snap. There's a snap. He's got the – he's got another catch. Ball is caught and taken for another first down. That was number 18 this time. All right, so we're here. We're still in the fourth quarter, and the Knights are trying to at least get on the board. It is 23-0 currently of the Panthers. In favor of the Panthers, I should say. Beautiful Falcon Field. It's a beautiful night here. It's, it, it is August, but it feels like a September night. It's nice and cool. There's no humidity. It's a beautiful night here. So August 29th, definitely get your buns down here to the field. All right, so number 11 in the shotgun again. There's a snap. Back to pass, and he's taken down for a sack. So it's a loss of about eight or nine, and the Panthers' defense shows why they're Panthers' defense. So it'll now be second and 18. And that's the Panthers' defense for you, which is ready to pounce. And we are set to go here again. All right. Number 11 in the shotgun. There's a snap. And the pass to number seven is inter and it's incomplete. So it'll be third and 18 now. Punting team will come on. And the defense held them down. Here comes the number, here comes number 23. Hopefully he's over his injury. And he's gonna be able to punt the ball. No, they're huddled. It looks like they might be going for it. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell yet. Nope, they're punting it away. Watch for the fake, though. I, I, I wouldn't put it past them. Nope, nope, nope. They're going for it. Number 11 is in the shotgun. They're going for it. Fourth and 18. There's a snap, and he's got it. He's holding it himself. He just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Wasn't that fourth down? Was that not fourth down? I thought that was fourth down. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe that was third down. All right, so now it's fourth and 18, because he only made it back to the line of scrimmage. Could have sworn that was already fourth down. I calls it like I sees it. And if I miss something, I miss something. <laughs> never meant, never said that I was uh, ready to be on NFL on Fox. But I'm here doing the NEFL on Fat Cat Radio. All right. Now 
Uh, they're going for it again. Number 11 in the shotgun. This is fourth down. Fourth and 18. There's a snap. And it's stuffed. Ball is knocked down. First and 10 Panthers. All right, so it's first and 10 Panthers from the Knights 42 yard line. Every, uh, yeah, I've, I can do a post game, yeah. All right, so we are here for, uh, we're still in the fourth quarter. We've got to be dwindling down on time by now. And the Knights, first and ten. And there's a snap. Snowden handing off to number five. There's a flag on the play. Shante Wynn with the carry. Ten yard penalty. So blocking block in the back, it'll now be second and or will it be first down and twenty or second and twenty? I think it'll be first and twenty. First and twenty for the Panthers. All right, Snowden in the backfield uh, in a shotgun with two uh, two backs. He's back to pass. Short pass. Eight, uh, completed to number nine. Hurdles. What a jump. Number nine is Corey Williams with a hurdle. And he brought it up to about the 42-yard uh, Yeah, about the 42-yard line. Second and ten now from the 39. And uh, handoff to number three. No, actually, Snowden kept it himself. And he brought, he got about a good four-yard gain on it. So it will now be third and five. And nice pick up there by Richard Snowden. Quarterback with a great run. Oh, somebody's hurt. And that's Snowden. Looks like he tweaked an ankle. So that means Todd Carroll coming in the quarterback. And it looks like his it maybe looks like uh, he's on the maybe pulled a hamstring or something. Nope, looks like his shin or calf muscle. Yeah, his calf. And uh, so Snowden is uh, right now on the massage table. So uh, now here's Todd Carroll in in a shotgun with two backs. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. And Carroll, with a low snap, picks it up, airs it out. Oh, almost caught. In and out, bobbled by number 14. But there's a flag on the play. So that was number 14, Aquan Shabazz, with the intended target. But it was incomplete. There are flags going all over the place. So what's going on here? Uh, everybody's in a little bit of disarray. Could it have been pass interference? I don't know. Looks like you're all set. Okay. Looks like it was pass interference. Pass interference. 
So it was defensive pass interference. First down for the Panthers from the 20. Nope, move, moving up even farther. It looks like first and 10 from the 15. Shane Gang is moving up slowly. First and 10 from the 15 out for the Panthers. Carroll in a shotgun, two backs. Handoff to number nine, Corey Williams. And he's uh, taken down for a loss of about two. All right, number one, uh, Kareem Robinson comes in. Number and Jason David takes a seat for this set for this down. Jason Davis and Jamie Bryant on the left. We got a wide receiver on the right. Two backs in the back. Todd Carroll is quarterback. There's a snap. Getting ready to pass. Yeah, right through his hands. Incomplete pass, and that was number uh, 13, 15. I was, uh, uh, who is that number? Can't tell. <laughs> that was number 13. Aquan Chabaz. No, number, uh, Casey Brown. So it's third and 13 now. Carroll back in the shotgun. There's a snap. All right. And caught by Corey Williams. And he's got the he's got the ball goes up to the left, and uh, gets it to about the eight yard line. And uh, forward progress comes in. So that's uh, Corey Williams with the with the catch, and it's going to be now third and or fourth. Yeah, fourth and three. That is very long. Yeah. So this is about fourth and fourth and four maybe. All right. So there's time out by the night by the Panthers. All right, timeout is over, and they're back on the field. Todd Carroll leading the charge. Wait a minute, where is Todd Carroll? Todd Carroll's under... Uh, in the shotgun, there's a snap. Handoff. Kareem Robinson had got the handoff. And the Panthers take another timeout, and it's going to be first and goal from the two. So Carroll's going to march his team back to the line as the Panthers' timeout is over. All right. So in the shotgun formation, two backs with him. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. There's a snap. Hand, enough. Handoff. Touchdown! 
two-yard run by number seven, Andre Elaine. And that will, be, that will now make it 29 to nothing. That's the end of the game. That is the end of the game. The Connecticut Panthers win 29 and the Pioneer Valley's Pioneer Valley Knights zero. <laughs> um, we'll be back with the post game, post game show with Lenny Murdo right after this right after the song Ow! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here with the uh, post-game show for uh, for the Connecticut Panthers and the Pioneer Valley Knights from Falcon Field. My name is Big Daddy Cool Vinny Apicella, and uh, once again, I'm here with Lenny Murdo. And Lenny, you've got the notes from the game. Yeah, I do. And uh, I thought it was a real good game. Uh, the defense for the Knights our offense off the field quite a bit and our defense was out there for a long time and as you know it's harder to play defense because you're reacting to the moves that the offensive people are making right so that really does tire you out unless you got some big guys on the line there and uh, like to rest but uh, the defense came up big the offense did more than enough to win the game 29 nothing and uh, I'll give you a rundown on the scoring. Uh, in the first half, the first quarter, the first score by the Panthers was an eight-yard pass from Todd Carroll to Jamie Bryant. And the point after was blocked, so we had a 6 nothing score. And just moments after that, the next series of downs, uh, Andrew Platt, intercepted a ball and ran 33 yards in for the score. We went for two, and we missed it by inches, so we were up 12 nothing at the end of the first quarter. The second quarter scoring was simply a field goal by uh, David Szymanski, a uh, eight-yarder, and that brought the score to 15 nothing at the half. Third quarter was back and forth, um, good offense, Good defense. A uh, couple of interceptions, and the ball just kept changing hands. So it remained 15 nothing at the end of uh, three. And in the fourth quarter, we had uh, an 11-yard pass from uh, Snowden to Robinson. We made the score 23 nothing. And 
finally we had a, a I'm sorry, the two point conversion was made after that. That was a pass to Vinnie Mooley, which made it twenty three nothing. And then uh, we had a touchdown by Andre Elaine, rushing touchdown, which made it twenty nine nothing, which ended Right. And it was uh it was a jam packed game. Just uh you know, third quarter it looked like the defense was getting a little bit tired there for a little bit, but um you know, they came back in the fourth quarter. Either way, it was, it's another shutout. Third shutout in a row for this Connecticut Panthers defense. That says a lot for a defense. And uh, b- believe me, having played both ways, defense is the toughest thing to do. It knocks you out. It really does. Because you're constantly reacting to what people are doing. You have quick starts, quick stops, and it's a lot of wear and tear on the muscles. I think our kids did a great job, but it does wear on you. And the offense always knows where they're going and what they're going to do, so they're that one step ahead of you. So I think there was a little tiredness. The offense came a little bit more alive in the fourth period, which gave the defense a little more of a rest. So I think all in all, uh, the balance of the game was with the defense, but the offense did help them out later on. Right. Um, now, let me ask you something. Did it, did it necessarily help or hurt the defense that the Pioneer Valley Knights played the same, uh, they, they basically played the same formation every down this game. I don't think they wavered from that shotgun formation with a single back. Uh, no, they were in the shotgun the whole game, that's for sure, and they had three wide outs on one side and two on the other side. I mean, it, it, it just looked like scatter. Um, but they were strictly a one-way team. You know, they kept going to the right, going to the right, going to the right, and they were overloaded on the left. I mean, you would think that at some point in time they'd say, Jesus put on to us, but they didn't. It was almost right. like they were going to continue running that play until they got it right. Yeah, and, well, it doesn't look like they got it right, um, especially considering they weren't able to score on this Panthers defense. But, Lenny, I want to thank you very much for your help. For the, uh, for the uh, Any closing uh, comments you have? Geez, just that I thought it was real good football. I mean, I've been around minor pro football since, the old New Haven Rams, and they played in the 1950s, so I'm dating myself. But it was at Bowen Field that I worked for the Rams as a kid, and uh, they gave me tickets, believe it or not, Vince, to a game that was played at Bowen Field in New Haven where Hillhouse and Cross used to play their games. Two teams, one of them was called the New York Titans, who are now the Jets, and the other team was the Buffalo Bills, who are still the Bills. Mm-hmm. And I saw Cookie Gilchrist, the Hall of Famer, uh, in that game as about a 10-year-old kid. And wow. that, was, that was fabulous. But I saw the old uh, Rams, and this is probably some of the best minor pro football that I've seen, really. Uh, it's fourth game of the season. There were very few offsides, very few penalties. Um, we didn't call timeouts for anything but injuries. Um, it's a well-coached, well-disciplined team. Thank you very much, Lenny. All right. Uh, we'll be back here for uh, the next home game at Falcon Field, 7 p.m. is uh, August 29th. They'll be playing the Western Connecticut Militia, and uh, who are currently in first place in the Colonial Conference, but there's still two games to go before that, so a lot can change. Um, we'll be live here, but also, but if you're in the Connecticut area, come on down to the field. It's 10 bucks per adult. 12, kids under 12 are free. Uh, it's a great night out for family fun. If you want to see good football action without the high-paying contract of the NFL, come on down to, the, to minor pro football. All right, for uh, Lenny Murdo, my name is Big Daddy Cool Vinny the coach, the coach of the New England of the Connecticut Panthers is Mark Welch. The defensive coordinator is Warren Pollard. The assistant coaches are Aaron Barksdale, Kendall Brown, and Kevin Moses. Folks, thank you for listening and. Uh, Sportswire will be back on Monday or Tuesday with another episode, so keep it tuned here. Have a great night, everybody.